Good evening. I'd like to call to order the City of West Bend Common Council meeting for April 19th. Uh, note that we do have a quorum with all aldermen present and accounted for. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, I'll note that we have 10 items on our agenda, the first being an invocation by Pastor Jim Booker of the Full Gospel Church. So we'll welcome him up. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and honor to uh, pray. And I do want to just publicly thank Mayor Jenkins and all of you for your sacrificial giving of your leadership for our community. I thank the Lord for the city of West Bend. It's been a great place to raise our family. I know that you will hear if you do something negative and you don't hear positive, but this has been a great, great city to I've lived here 38 years and I'm very thankful for uh, the leadership that we've had in the past and this present leadership. Let's pray. Lord, we are so thankful, Lord, for this day that you've given to us. And Lord, we call upon you, Jesus, we ask you to help us here today. We pray for this, uh, our counsel, Lord, that you would give them direction, that you would give them wisdom and guidance. Lord, with the decisions that they not only have to make here today, but Lord, in the future, I pray your blessing upon them and that you would give them, Lord, um, uh, direction as they make hard decisions. I ask you, Lord, that you would... Uh, bring protection upon our police department and upon our firemen, our fire department, and upon the EMT workers. I pray, Lord, protection. I, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would bring blessings upon the newly elected officials here in this council and bless all of the officials, not just here today, but the work in this building and work in the city of West Bend. I pray the blessing of the Lord upon our our businesses, Lord. I ask you to bless, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you would bring protection in your favor upon the city of West Bend. I pray, Lord, let there be a fear of the Lord that sweeps across, Lord, not just in this building here, in this chamber room, but, Lord, throughout the city of West Bend, that there would be a reverence and that there would be an awe for you. We realize, Lord, these are uncertain times, but you are on the throne and you are in control, and we can go to you at any time for help, and we thank you for that. And we pray all of this in your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor, and thanks for being here. And we'll continue to, continue to number two, which is oath of office for our newly elected alder persons. Take it away. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Do you like everybody to come down there? Is that the plan? Yeah. yeah, that's why I said one, five, seven. <laughs> All right. All right, good evening. Tonight I would like to give the oath of office to the newly appointed aldermen for the odd districts. They are District 1, John Butchlick, District 3, Brett Burquist. District 5, Jed Dolnick, and District 7, Justice Model. I'll be giving the office of office to all of you at the same time, so if you could please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Having been elected to the office of Alderman District, swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin and will faithfully discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> and it's official welcome back gentlemen
All right. And next up, we have a selection of a council council president. So open it up for nominations. I nominate John Butchlick. Second. Thank you. John's been nominated. Any other nominations? And hearing none, all those in favor, Valdemar Butchlick continuing as council president. Signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. I imagine you accept, right? <laughs> yes, I Great. do. Thank Wonderful. You. And speaking of Alderman Butchlick, uh, next up we have appointment of chairperson for the Board of Public Works. I'm happy to have John continue in that respect as well. So if we can have a motion for that. Move to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion seconded. All those in favor of Alderman Butchlick serving as a chairperson for the Board of Public Works. Anyone saying aye? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Next up is appointment of chairperson for the finance committee. Uh, first off, I want to thank uh, Alderman Kennedy for her two years of service. We've been through a lot together, a lot of ups and downs. It's been a lot of fun and hard work, so I greatly appreciate your service. Uh, she was looking for a little bit of a change, though. Uh, so with that, I would like to recommend that we uh, appoint Alderman Justice Model as our new finance chair. Motion Please. to approve Justice Model. Thank you. Is there a second? Great. Still willing to, willing to do it? Sure, yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds great. I'll ban all those in favor of that appointment. Please signify saying aye. Aye. Um, any oppose? Thank you. And thank you, Alderman Model, for stepping up. Uh, next up is designation of the official city newspaper. I don't believe any laws have changed, so we have the daily news as our only choice. Do approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion second. All those in favor? Signify saying aye. 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 Any oppose? Thank you. Next up is the appointment of the City Comptroller, which is our very own Carrie Winklebauer. Motion approved. Second. second. Thank you. It's been motion second by a lot of people. All those in <laughs> favor of Carrie, signal by saying aye. 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 Any oppose? Thank you. Uh, next up is mayoral appointments of older persons to serve on the Planning Commission. I'm happy to have Alderman Model and Dolnick continue in that capacity. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. And it's been motion second in. All those in favor of those two gentlemen, say by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And then number nine, resolution designating pub public depositories and authorizing withdrawal of city money, which is in your packet. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion second in. All those in favor, say by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. And then finally, mayoral appointments of various city boards, committees, commissions, which are in your packet as well. If I can have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. It's been motion and seconded. All those in favor of those uh, those appointments, please signal by saying uh, yes. Did you have a question? <laughs> can we talk about? Sure. Um, yep. Just I was contacted about planning commission and some additional interest on that. Just want to understand um, if they're not that I have any problem with uh, Mr. Nepler being on planning commission. I just want to understand how many applications or how many people were considered, um, and and just kind of have a good understanding just because that is a very hard-hitting heavy committee um, that does a lot of heavy lifting for the city so yep so we had one official application but I considered probably about five people that currently sit on other committees or have in the past uh, to fill that position uh, if you're talking specifically about uh, Mr. Willicat I did inform him when he applied that we had a lot of interest uh, of people who had wanted to fill um, my concern is just potential conflict of interest uh, with his employer and I would like somebody to send the plan commission who is able to vote and exercise um, those responsibilities on that commission whenever possible. Um, as far as Mr. Knepler, I saw him sneak in to the, uh, to the audience here. Um, I did have the honor to serve with him on the library board. He was our finance chair then. He's a CPA, very detail-oriented guy, um, and I would be honored to have him serve in that capacity. Um, but the, this council has the right. You can reject that um, nomination if you'd like, and I can bring forth another name at a future meeting. Whatever works for you guys. Um, yeah, in, in future, it would be nice to, to have some background on all of the people. We're being asked to uh, basically consent to these appointments, and it's tough to do that when you know, yeah, he served on, on a library board at some time in the past, but I have no idea when that was, and I would have to, you know, cast about and try and figure out where that was. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if, if we could, in future, whenever somebody is being brought up, if we could get the, uh, the applications. 
So we did actually finally start this process. I'll give Julie up in the admin office, who now has returned to that um, desk, a lot of credit. She's been slowly uh, uh, cre creating a giant electronic database of all these applications that we haven't had before. Um, so I'm sure if you went back and asked, can I see so-and-so's application from five years ago? I don't know if we have it. So we're trying to maintain a good database now so that, yes, we can you know, pull up that information in would, the future. Would it, so. would it be possible if you're, if you're like if you're, if whoever's mayor is, is considering uh, a, somebody to nominate that they would get an application, a current application that we could see? But what you, you, said, you said you had five people you were considering but only had one application. Yep. Is it possible to get five applications in that situation? You know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm considering you for such and such. You mind filling out this application, unless you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, and some of them we you, might, you know. you know, some of them we might already have, right, from their interest in past committees. And I wouldn't want to set them all up to fail either. So maybe the one person, right, that I pick, I can understand that, you know, bringing that application so that you have it as part of your packet. Yep. Okay. Yep, I agree. I, I think. But oh, go go ahead. No, you go first. Well. <laughs> I don't have a problem with Jim being on the commission. As a courtesy, I, I, I called um, Adam because he had emailed the council members and um, he, I, I mentioned that, there were, that I had a concern about a potential conflict of interest which would have been similar to what Mayor Sidonikow kept facing when he was the mayor and a member of plan commission and he would have to keep recusing himself because of projects his company was involved in. And then finally it ended up that he, of course, gave up his mayor position because it just got to be impossible to resolve. Adam's statement to me was that his company and the mayor's company are not connected. Yeah, my understanding is they're separate entities as well. Like he's not an investor nor has money backing any of the development projects. But I mean, that's something that maybe the city attorney would have to discuss with him or, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know when I talked, I mean, I did the same as Jed, which was, you know, when somebody said they were interested, reached, reached out, spoke with uh, Mr. Willicott and, um, you know, understood some of his experience and things. And um, when he was on planning commission as an alderman appointment a few years ago, I believe he said he recused himself a handful of times in those many years that he was on. So probably not much more or less than, say, like quick trip or something that happens every once in a while that comes comes to the, you know, comes around. So I don't know. I, 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 like I said, I like Mr. Nepler. That it's not the question. It's just you know, looking at the um, the resume, it's impressive. He was on for several years. He was an alderman for several years. Um, knows development, knows real estate. So that's that's where my head is at. Yep. Uh, I'd I'd like to propose that we um, hold the appointment to the planning commission approve the remaining appointments and if you could provide us the the you said you had with an updated or i can even get an updated I, application yeah i, I yep. would like to see an updated resume and uh, we do And, uh, and again i guess I'll, I'll just remind the council that the council has the ability to deny my appointments, but not to not who to recommend to fill that position. No. So if you're comfortable, I, real, I yeah. realize that. Okay. Uh, I'd still like to uh, have a chance to look at look at the application ahead of that. So I'd look, I'd propose a uh, friendly amendment to uh, suspend just that that one appointment and act on the remaining appointments. Okay. So you process wise, I, I the motion and the. I mean, the topic is the body, so I think I mean, it's up to you whether you want to recognize a friend. It's up to the body whether you want to recognize a friendly amendment or not. Otherwise, pro the best process would be to, if you're attempting to do what Alderman Allen is proposing, to vote this motion down because it's a motion to approve and then deal with another motion that comes before the body that's amended. It, it makes the most sense, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So there was a motion second. Uh, as presented, so why don't we call for a vote for that? So, all those in favor, as presented, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. aye. Thank you. Why don't we have a roll call vote just to be sure, Casey? 
Alderman Butchlick? Aye. Alderman Allen? Not, uh, nay. Alderman Burquist? Nay. Alderman Kaler? Aye. Alderman Dolnick? No. Alderman Ahrens? Nay. Alderman Model? Aye. Alderman Kennedy? Nay. The nays have it, 5-3. All right, so then I'll open up for another motion, if you want to make that Alderman Allen. I would, I would propose uh, to accept uh, all appointments except for the Planning Commission, uh, have that come to us at, at the, next the next meeting. meeting. Sounds good. Is there a second? Second. Okay, thank you. And motion second. Any other comments, questions? Yes, sir. This has put Jim in a in a uncomfortable position. It puts me in an uncomfortable position because I don't want it to be interpreted as sour grapes that he ran against me. Um, and I think this, frankly, Mayor, could have been avoided if there had been some more transparency. Uh, they are your appointments, but that doesn't mean that that these had to be that handled this way. That there could have been some more communication about about this. I I mean, I'll just say that I don't think this process is any different than we've done in the past how many years? I mean, the, the additional materials that you got on, got on the library board applicants is something new. We've, we have not done that in our organizational meeting. Um, if you'd like to see that moving forward, that's fine, and we can you know, set that precedence, but um, just wanted to let you know. And in fairness to you then, if, if you're following precedent, I respect that, but maybe we need to change the precedent. Yep, that's fair. Sounds good. Then, all those in favor of that new motion, why don't we just make that a roll call vote right away if we can, Casey? Alderman Butchlick? Nay. Alderman Allen? Aye. Alderman Burquist? Aye. Alderman Kaler? No. Nope. Alderman Dolnick? Aye. Alderman Ahrens? Aye. Alderman Model? Nay. Alderman Kennedy? Aye. Five to three, two. accepting. Sounds good. Correction, accepting all except planning commission. All right. Jim, you got some homework <laughs> to send me. We'll get that updated, and I'll be happy to bring that back to the, uh, to the council. Uh, but thank you to everybody else uh, in the community for their willingness to serve on our various boards, commissions, and committees. We greatly appreciate it. And having no further business for the City of West Bend Common Council, we adjourn by the call of the chair. Have a good night. <laughs>